What's up, everybody? It's Shay with May, and I'm going to do a recap of the premiere of Teen Mom 2. It premiered last night, and it was everything I thought it was going to be. It was Brianna trying to get more screen time by telling everybody she's fucking Javi, making it obvious and making the producers follow her around and ask her exactly what's going on between her and Javi. And, of course, she grinned and giggled. And, of course, her sister and her mother was in the background like, yeah, girl, do that, yeah, girl, do that. It was ridiculous. Let's be honest, Brianna does not fit in with this cast and at this point she never will. I'm pretty sure Kale doesn't like her because Kale went on a Twitter rant last night about how Brianna blocked her. How Brianna had her son, her sons, calling Brianna's kids cousins. And Kale was like, what the clusterfuck? Why are my kids calling your kids cousins if you're supposedly going with their father? Come on now. It was just distasteful for Javi to plan a trip to Florida and share a hotel room with her and the kids. Because one of the kids is not his. Not biologically, not half, not anything now that Kale divorced him. So I thought it was very distasteful for him to try to bring the kids along to get to know a girl that he's not even with anymore. And at the time, he had only been talking to for like a month. Javi, what the fuck? Like seriously. So it was the same old, same old thing with Brianna and her mom and her sister in the background, completely in her business while she goes on to say that she loves Javi or she's in like with Javi and she does not care what Kale has to say. And if Kale has a problem, Kale got her number basically acting about it, about it. But we all know that Brianna is not it, not it. So that just pissed me off completely like go home brianna hashtag go home brianna you don't fit in with this ensemble cast okay moving right along of course chelsea had no storyline at all so i can just skip her she's still talking about adam apparently adam you know is beating up his ex-girlfriend and she took a restraining order out on him and now because of that she doesn't want you know her daughter go over there blah 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 the same thing that has been for seasons she doesn't want her daughter around adam and honestly adam's a douche so i don't blame her moving right along kale didn't have anything to say basically but you know brianna me and you have the same surgeon we got our butts done together so why are you trying to have sex with my (laughs) ex-husband basically that's all kale that's that was kale's defense uh they had surgery together so she felt like they were kind of close and she doesn't know why brianna is seeing javi behind her back then janelle shows up on the screen with a broken out face i guess this is stressed out um well you know the situation's going on with her kids and you know her kids grandparents and they're basically just trying to take the kids away from Janelle and Janelle I you know I don't believe anything that Janelle is saying I do believe that a little bit of abuse is going on now I know that kids can exaggerate things sometimes but Janelle's defense was ridiculous Janelle said that um her son um was talking about a play fight that he had with David when he was describing getting hit by David it was actually a play fight it is it, really ridiculous like come on now you, you really about to sell your kid out and say that he's lying and some kind of way Janelle twisted it and made it all about her and started saying that David she started crying okay this is so selfish of her she started crying to the producer and she was like oh my god David doesn't even know I'm crying she didn't say anything about her kids Okay, they were reading an article. An article came out. Barbara made a statement saying that David was abusing the kids. She's in the kitchen crying to the producer saying, Oh my God, David doesn't even know I'm crying right now because he's outside working in the yard. He doesn't even know I'm upset. She has to be the most selfish narcissist human being ever. She is a B-I-T-C-H. I'm sorry. I'm tired of Janelle, okay? Like... MTV has embarrassed her for all these years, okay? They've had a lot of material to work on with embarrassing her. But this right here just turned me completely off from Janelle. Like, I thought she was funny. I'll be, I'll be fun. I'll be like Frank. I thought she was funny. 
but this turned me off completely from Janelle. Why are you talking about yourself when your kids are being abused? You lost all parental rights to Jace. Yet you're in the kitchen talking about David doesn't even know you're crying. It's all about you. It's all about you, you, you. The, narciss the narcissist behavior is ridiculous. Like, I think I have a clip, okay? I'm, I'm pretty sure. I hope I have a clip. I don't want to tell him this because he's... Like, everyone's been, like, making him so upset about it. And it makes me upset because he doesn't touch the kids like that. And then Nathan's mom is like, David punches Kaiser in the face. Kaiser tells me that. And David's like, yeah, okay, Kaiser, you want me to punch you in the face? And Kaiser's like, yeah. And David goes, and, like, plays around. That's what Kaiser means. And Nathan's mom is taken as way out of proportion. I just, I don't, I, I don't know how you can deal with all of this stuff. We didn't see much of Leah last night at all, thank God, because she has no storyline. Basically, she was um on here being a ride or die for Kale, and she basically told Kale that Brianna told her that she was staying in a hotel room with Javi and she was basically messing around with Javi and that was all Leah did last night was relay that information and it's girl code so moving on what do you guys think